unmuted. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I am so excited about today. Um, first off, I want to see if we can, if everybody can hear me. So we're going to kind of uh, jump in here and make sure. Okay, cool. Everybody can hear me. Awesome. So welcome. I'm so excited about today. Uh, thank you for being here. I'm going to share with you some, some things with you today that are going to change your life forever. If you have questions or comments, then please leave them in the chat. And at the end, I will get to as many as I can. Um, but let's just jump in here. So I'm Jen Suliafu. I'm a life coach, writer, speaker, mother of four children and wife. I live for seeing people wake up and remember the truth of who they really are. So uh, that's, that's basically what I do today. Um, it doesn't matter how gnarly your past looks or where you're at right now in your life or what so-called mistakes you think you've made. Uh, if you're ready to face your stuff and move forward, I'm here. So let's do this. I love seeing what, what soul's journeys look, have been like, and I find it so fascinating to see what people have been through. I believe anyone can grow, progress, change and wake up. And I live for walking that journey with you. So the stuff that I teach, sometimes people will say, you know, when they come to me and ask me, uh, what I do and what I teach and they'll say often, well, I don't, I know you don't know if this stuff you teach will work for me and really help change my life. But my answer to that is actually, uh, yes, yes, I do know that it will work. In fact, it's already working right now. The stuff that I teach, we just don't understand it. And that is our power to create. And so I'm going to explain that to you today and how rewriting our story is so impactful. And in order for your life to change, you must rewrite your story. So let's dive in here. If you're a human being on the planet, you are creating your life every second, every minute of every day. It's like saying, you don't know if the law of gravity will work for you. You can't see it and you may not fully understand how it does. You just know that it does, right? So we are all spiritual, magical, omnipotent beings in a human body. Some people are too rooted in their humanness and don't even know they're spiritual. Then you've also got those people that are too over in their spirituality, which I call la la land. And they're not grounded and being, you know, playing the part of a human and neither, neither are our ideal. We are that spiritual being in a human body. And so really coming here and learning our power to create is what we wanted to do. So, um, when we use our mind and our heart together is ideal. When I first started waking up and learning this stuff, I was so, so exhilarated. My husband was more over in the human side. And so we, I was over here and he was over here. And he would often say to me, this is the real world. Like you're driving me crazy with all this spiritual woo woo stuff of our, our power to create. <clears throat> and I was bugging him because I was allowing a lot of things in our life that uh, weren't healthy for us or our family. A lot of people that had really uh, negative stories in, the, in their life. But I, I was so overjoyed because I, had, I was finally waking up and learning to love myself for the first time. And so I was, I was overflowing with love for everyone, which is great. That's a great place to be when you're over here in in your spirituality. But part of loving ourselves is also setting boundaries. And um, this one was a hard one for me. So um, today I'm going to kind of explain our power to create and uh, 
how to get more in that middle space. We all have, I want you to envision that we all have this invisible projector on our forehead. And based on what we're thinking, visualizing, saying, feeling, and believing is going out into a pathway before us and creating our life. Uh, this is hard for a lot of people to believe because they'll say, yeah, right. If that were true, if your, if your thoughts were what create your life, then I could just say, oh, I'm a millionaire. And then poof, there would be a million dollars. And that isn't the case, obviously. And I want you to really realize that that's actually a good thing if that isn't the case because there is a lag time. So it's not just our thoughts that create our life. It is, it's all of it together. It's, it's actually bringing it to that next space to become a belief. And so, yes, the thought is the very first seed of creating, but it's like thinking of, I want you to imagine, you know, if you want to plant something, you're not going to just throw those seeds in the soil and then the next day, wake up and go, let's say you want to plant tomatoes and you wake up and you look at the, the soil and you go, well, this is dumb. This didn't work. There's no tomatoes. You wouldn't do that because you know that you need, it needs TLC. It needs the sunlight. It needs time. It needs water and that nurturing process in order for it to come into fruition. So I want you to think of your power to create as the same. It's, it's a process. I don't know about you, but I've had some pretty crazy thoughts sometimes, and I still do. We had a massive snowstorm here in Salt Lake City a couple weeks ago, and I was driving and I was white knuckling the, the steering wheel. And sometimes you'll think, oh no, I hope that, you know, I don't crash into that truck and die. But it's not that immediate because it, it takes time for us to, receive or to uh, culminate a belief. And that's what our, our life is made up of is our beliefs. So the thoughts turn into visualization, which turns into our story that we speak, which turns into our feelings, the way we feel about our life and all of the, um, the different areas of our life, which turn into beliefs. And once it turns into a belief is where it can bloom and, and, come into fruition. So um, this is why a lot of people will, you know, I like to use marriage as an example or relationships. If, if you have your movie that you're playing in your projector, which is your belief systems, if your movie is that you're not worthy or that, you know, all men or all women are not trustworthy or whatever those beliefs are that can cause problems in a relationship. And you go from one relationship to the next with those same beliefs, then you're going to have several failed marriages, several failed relationships. And it's going, you're going to just take that same projector, that same movie from one relationship to the next, to the next. So I love to think of this uh, scenario. So if you were to, I tried to think of like two extreme characters that played the, the man in a love story, right? So, well, not necessarily a love story, but a movie. And so my two extremes that I like to use are, you've got the guy in, the movie Wolf of Wall Street, or you've got the guy in the movie Notebook. So you can take one character. And if you're asking for, you know, the guy in the notebook, but you've got the mo movie of the Wall Street on, then that's what's going to show up for you. Or, um, or like you can go from one theater to the next, but if you're taking the same movie into the next theater, it's going to, you're, that's going to be your result is that's what's going to show up for you. So you have to change the movie, which is your story. So how do we do that? That sounds super simple, right? 
it's like change your story and your life will change. It is very, very simple, but it is one of the hardest things that I believe that a human is to ever do. And that is to change our stories. It's very hard. And so that's why I will be peeling back the layers to change my stories until the day I leave the planet. But I think, I thank God that I've learned as much as I have about uh, our power to create because my life has changed so drastically. And so I have learned how to really shift and change many, many areas of my life. So uh, a lot of people will say, well, this stuff that you teach, Jen, like what area of my life would it really help change? And my answer to that is when you learn your power to create, as a human being, the answer is everything. It changes everything. So I want you to think of yourself as like a tree. Okay. And you've got all of these branches and the branches are your stories and you've got a story and a branch for your, your relationships, your, uh, your intimate relationship, your parenting, your friendships, you have a branch for your, your money, your success, your self love, your health. We have belief systems in so many areas. So we have branches for it all, right? So if you're able to understand how to create a life that honors you, then, and you treat the tree, the trunk of the tree, then it will affect all of them. So imagine, a lightning bolt coming and, you know, crashing into that tree and the tree splits in half. It's only going to be a matter of time before those branches start to die. Right. As opposed to if the tree is strong and healthy and getting all of the things that it needs to, to be strong, then, um, getting sunlight, getting, uh, water, then the branches are healthy. So that's really what we, what what we do here when we're talking about our power to create and changing our story is when we learn how to do this in one area and we learn how to uh, treat the tree trunk and really stand in your power and understand what it is you create and how to uh, create a life that honors you instead of those areas that don't honor you everything changes everything so that's what we're here for in the human experience is to learn our power to create. And we came here to learn contrast and then turn around and experience things at a higher level. So I believe if you're going in the right direction, your life will just get better and better and better as time goes on. A lot of people will say, oh, I wish I could get back to this in my life or, you know, they look back at the glory days and you couldn't pay me enough to go back to when I was 20 or 30. Uh, I feel like every, every year my life is getting better and better. Now, this doesn't mean that we're not going to have pain in our lives or that, you know, there are sometimes things that are thrown in that are very, very painful experiences and that we have to navigate through those, those experiences in life. But regardless of what is thrown at us, even if it's hard, if we are learning to understand ourselves more and more and get back to that truth of who we really are, you will be fo more full of love and understanding for yourself and for all mankind, the longer you're on the planet. So I will give you the tools to completely rock your life. Um, I've been studying this stuff for over two decades. I have always been drawn to the dynamic of relationships and parenting and, and self progression. And then of course, understanding, uh, our power to create, which I learned about, 15 years ago was when I started to, to learn this. And it was such a huge game changer for me. Um, 
But the key is to just step on the path and then keep going until you get the hang of it because our, our stories are so deep rooted. And so it sounds like, oh yeah, you know, just change your story and your life will change. And it is true. It will. It will change so drastically and you will, you will thank yourself for learning about how to change your story. But with that, there are so many facets of how to change your story. This is a, our story is affected by not only what we are, what we are thinking about, but other people and their stories and us focusing on them watching the movies we watch, the stories we read, the music we listen to, uh, all of those things affect our story. So one time I remember talking to someone who she had a stream of clients. Uh, she's a hairdresser and she has a stream of clients that were coming in and she was telling me that she ended up uh, really starting to have these negative feelings towards her husband and she realized that it was literally, it had nothing to do with him. It had to do with all of these stories she was hearing from these other women and the, the sadness and heartbreak in their life and how she was internalizing that and now thinking these thoughts about her husband, like he must, there must be something going on that I don't know about or, you know, behind closed doors because she's hearing about all of these other experiences. And so, that doesn't mean that we can't ever hear negative experiences, but we, we do need to be aware of what we are putting our focus on the uh, birds of a feather flock together and the people we're surrounding ourselves with and, and even outside of, of work in those places that we can't necessarily control who's around us. Um, but, but being very intentional of, of, what we are thinking about and visualizing and creating and taking taking uh ownership for our own story that we're creating so um years ago my husband and i we were we were in a really really hard place in our marriage and i had learned so much i had read so many books I had gone to seminars, I'd worked with mentors, and we kept having the same fights over and over and over again. And I was getting to a space where this was my, I was on my second marriage and I love my husband dearly, I always have. And I didn't want us to I, I wanted us to work this out and figure things out so badly. And I wanted us to heal from the past and bring down our, our walls and really connect and have this strong, stable foundation. But I didn't know how to do that. I felt like we just kept going the rounds and, you know, we would go through these waves of things were, would be good. And we both loved each other so much, but we did not know how to really, uh, get to that next level and really build that foundation together without getting back to those spaces of, of really having a hard time and having fights and, and understanding each other, really seeing each other. And we had this, I remember this one day that was such a defining moment for me. We had, this time where we were we were getting to a space in our marriage and it was starting to get scary. We were throwing the divorce word around and um, I was, we'd had this huge fight and he, you know, he went off to one end of the house and I went off to the other. And I remember sitting there and looking at the situation and thinking, Jen, all this stuff you know, all the books you've read, all the hours and time and energy that you have put into learning all this amazing stuff on how to create this wonderful marriage and this wonderful life, and this is where you're at? Sister, you could do better than this. And in that moment, 
I finally, finally decided to take this information from my, my head that I learned and bring it down into my heart and actually apply it to my life so that my life could actually change, finally. So what I did was I simply got out a piece of paper and a pen and I started writing out my life as I wanted it to be. I wanted so badly for my marriage to be in, in this new space. And so I started writing it out as if it were already that way. And I, I wrote, I am in this beautiful marriage with somebody who loves and trusts me and I love and trust him. And I just, I wrote all kinds of things on this paper and I folded it up and I put it in my purse. And our life did not change overnight, but day after day, I got my story out, my new story that I rewrote and I read it and we would fight and I would go back to my story and I would read my story and I would refocus. And what I was doing is I was changing that movie. I was changing that, that projector and day after day, things started to shift and shift and shift and shift until before I knew it, I turned around and my whole life had changed so much. So we have a branch for every story in our life. And we just keep telling the same story over and over and over again. One thing I know for sure, and that is, that your life will never ever change until you change your story. And just like me, how I was resisting, I knew so much information that could, could really help me and could really change, change my life. But for whatever reason, I was resisting and I was not allowing myself to actually apply it. And I see that with so many people that I work with. They'll come to me and they're so wise and smart and, and amazing. But for whatever reason, they're building, they have these walls that they, they will not bring down to really change their lives. They're, they're resisting to finally change their lives and give their self that life that truly honors them. And so today, that's what we're going to do is we are going to get to it and we are going to actually just like I did years ago where I took out a piece of paper. That's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to explain to you why this is so important, why this is so powerful. It might seem like really this is like, that's it. And it, it's funny because I believe that the more simple we can make things, the more doable they are and the more powerful they are. So we expect, we think it needs to be so complicated. It really doesn't. So literally taking the time to sit down, write out your new story and read it day after day after day is so life changing. And I'll tell you why that matters so much to have like a physical paper that you are looking at and, and how effective that is. The reason that it is so effective is because of this. So when we see something in front of us and it's, that's, that's what we believe is reality. We believe that because it's this way is what I think. And that's not true. It's actually the other, the other way around because we are powerful creators and whatever we think and visualize and say and feel and believe becomes our reality. Then that is there because you believe that. So whenever we're able to have something, this is distracting, right? So let's say for example, uh, you have some, some sort of money belief that, uh, is blocking you. So let's say somebody is, is having a lot of money problems. So 
it's like, hey, Jen, reality is like, wake up. This is the real world. Reality is I don't have enough money to pay my bills. Okay. So if that's what I see, then it's so hard for me to uh, go somewhere else in my mind. So the thing that's awesome about writing something physically out and having something physically to look at is because now I can take this situation and I can tell my mind where to go and I can have something tangible to look at and read because yeah, if you could, if you could just visualize and think, then that's great too. And of course I've got many, many more tips and tricks on how to change our story. But today I'm giving you the first one, which is something very tangible. And it's a great, great place for people to start because it's, it's something that when you've got this distraction here, you can bring your eyes and your mind to something else and tell your mind where to go. So today, after this call, you're going to receive uh, an email with the template. It's I've got it all laid out for you and you're going to, I'm going to take you through those steps to rewrite your story. So make sure you care enough about yourself and your family and all the people that love you, because this is a ripple effect. So many times I meet with people and they don't care enough about themselves. They don't have a lot of self love or self worth. And I understand that I was there, but what I want you to realize is when you are living a life that is not honoring you, it is also not honoring anyone that loves you. The best thing we can do for our children, for our spouse, for anybody in our life, our siblings, our parents that love us is create a beautiful life and really, really learn how to stand in our power and love ourselves. It is the most important thing that you can do for those people. That's the best gift you can give them. So with the, the steps that we're going to do, I'm just going to explain them really quickly to you. Um, and then I want you to make sure you take that time to, to sit down and really, really go within and think about what it is, where you're at now, and what it is you want. So our power to create, it's three simple steps. It's really three simple steps. And that is number one, you shine the light and you find out what it, you uncover your story. Where are you at right now? What is your story in, in one particular area? So for me, uh, a massive belief that I had that was wreaking so much havoc on my marriage, no matter how much my husband loved me and how much he wanted to show up for me. I had a belief that I wasn't worthy and that I wasn't, I wasn't good enough and that I wasn't lovable. And it came from many, many things in my past. And I was just bringing all of that forward and not being intentional with my, with trying to change that. I, I didn't even know it was there. And, and so my, my story was, you're not, you're not worthy. So to uncover that, that, that story is the very first step. The second step is what do you want instead? Go within. What do you want? A lot of people tell me sometimes that they don't know what they want. And I say, yes, you do. You do know what you want. Absolutely know what you want. So for example, if they're in a marriage that is not honoring them or that they're not happy, they will say they don't know what they want. And it's because they're looking at the details of their life and where they're at now. And so I'll say, you do know what you want. And they'll say, well, I do. How do you know? Well, do you want to be happy? Well, yes, of course. Do you want passion? Yes, of course. Do you want love and adoration and respect? Yes. So you know what you want. So the second step is to get clear on what you want, regardless of where they're at now. Number three, you nurture that new story 
you give it so much love. You, uh, you give it TLC until it starts to take root. The other story leaves and your reality pops in and it changes. So that's it. You uncover your story, you figure out what you want, and then you nurture that new story until it starts to shift and change. So with this, uh, rewrite your story process. The first step is you are going to really think about what are those key areas of your life that you want to see improve. And you're going to write them down because we're so good at just sleepwalking through life and just ignoring all these areas that really, really need to shift. And so you're going to sit and you're going to get clear and you're going to think about what it is you want to really shift in your life. Then number two, uh, and all of this is sent to you. So you don't have to uh, write this down. It's all going to be in this PDF that you get. Um, the second area is, or the second step is you're going to look at what your current story is in these key areas of your life. So these key areas, if you're paying attention to them, then your life is going to be freaking fabulous. So it's your money, money and finances is one intimate relationship, your other relationships, like your children, your parents, all of your other relationships, your health and appearance, success and fulfillment, joy and peace. If you don't have joy and peace, what do you have? Adventure, and your spirituality. So you're going to, you're going to go through all of those areas and you're going to think about what is your current story. And some of your stories are great and they're honoring you and they're awesome. And you want to keep those in the, that same space. But some of those you will find that, uh, they're not, they're not going to be honoring you and you want them to shift. Then you're going to read over your current stories and you're going to decide which ones you want to shift and what you want instead. So you're going to get really clear on what you want. That's the third step. And then the fourth step is you're going to bring it all together and you're going to come up with that paper that you, uh, that you write out your full story in. and you get creative, like sky's the limit. You can have physical and non-physical things in there. If you want a new car, cool. If you want to have deep soulful conversations with like-minded people, write that down, but really, really, uh, go within, see what it is you want and, and write out those, those things that your heart desires. And then this is what I tell people to do. Make sure that you put it in a space that you're going to see it. Because if you just write this down and put it on a shelf and never look at it again, it's, it's not going to really take root. So part of taking it, taking root and nourishing it and, and giving it that TLC is bringing your attention to it on a normal basis. So areas for women to use are a great area is the, the pocket of your purse. You, you pretty much always know where your purse is. And you might have to set a reminder to pull it out every day and look at it and read it. But um, making sure that you are constantly looking at it every day. Okay. And then eventually it'll become a habit. You don't have to set a reminder. But, um, and then for men, you can put it <clears throat> in your car, you can put it in your wallet, um, somewhere that you are, that you, you're not going to lose, you're not going to lose it. And then just, repetition, what we focus on expands. So repetition, repetition. Um, and, and eventually you're going to see that your life is going to shift. So this area or this stuff is consistency is so key. It's, you know, I, I, I like to think about this kind of stuff. I use the example of working out or eating healthy or, you know, people, some people go to church because they want that reset or you can't just, you can't just eat healthy. Let's say you want to be healthy. You don't just eat healthy once and expect to be healthy or go to the gym once. It's something that is a, is consistency. You've got to do it on a consistent basis for your life to change and learning about our power to create and, uh, how, 
how impactful it is and how it changes every area of our life. It is the most important thing for people to be consistent on. So many of you on this call have already joined my group vibes coaching program. I'm so excited. This is my new program. It's been something that um, I've thought about for a long time and it's now coming into fruition. So I'm really excited about it. It is another layer for me to add support for people on their journey. And so it is, it's a monthly uh, membership where it, people keep asking me, well, when does it start? It, it's, it starts and it never ends. So you can hop in and join and then um, check it out. And, and I will walk the path with you and peel back the layers and help you on your journey. So if you haven't checked it out yet, then I invite you to check it out. We've got the link in the comments and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it really quick because it's so, uh, it's going to change a lot of lives. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing two live calls every month. It's the first and third Friday of every month, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm going to be sharing the same information that I share with my one-on-one -on -one clients that they pay thousands for. It's, it's the same types of tips and tricks and information that um, I have shared for the last four years in my one-on-one -on -one coaching practice. And I know this stuff works. I've seen hundreds of people's lives change from, from this information that I'm sharing in my, in my group vibes program. So, um, it also, I'm also going to have a monthly manifesting video that is sent out every month. So the key here is to keep it simple and consistent. Okay. We go and we have, you know, when you read a book or, you go to a seminar, there's a lot of information coming at you. And we are going to, we are going to chunk this down into bite sized pieces to where it is doable. And so every month I'm going to have one video that I send out to you. And it's, it, these are going to be just different things that I have done for so many years. And it's going to be a manifesting technique. And you're going to do that the entire month. And then by the end of you know the year, there will be so many tools that you will have learned that you are taking into practice. But because they're going to be so simple, you it, it'll blow your mind how cool and simple these things are. So um, those are that's my program. It's it's literally uh, ninety nine dollars a month, and uh, and we are the next, the next one is going to be starting January 3rd. So today I'm offering, I'm doing an offer for anybody that signs up within the next 24 hours. I'm offering you a free manifesting bracelet. So these are so dear to my heart. Um, this is my own jewelry line and I created these when I was on my journey and I wanted something to remind myself how, uh, you know, what my story is and, and what remind myself of my focus. And so they're my, I am bracelets that, that you will receive. And I will, I literally will just pick whichever one I feel like I'm in. Um, I intuitively will pick one for you and send it to you. So if you sign up within the next 24 hours, then make sure you send us your address and I will, I will send you your own free manifesting bracelet. And they're made from um, real gemstones with special attributes. So very, very dear uh, to me. Okay, so I am going to open it up for any questions, comments. I'd love to um, answer any, any questions that people have. Let's see here. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Andy is asking, do I have to be live on the calls? How seen do I have to be? Okay. 
So I, I love that you asked that. I get asked that a lot. So um, no, you do not have to be live on the calls. Actually, they will be recorded and you can get into, uh, you can get in and listen to them at 3 a.m. if you want. It's whatever time you want to be on the call is, is good. And um, how seen do you have to be? A lot of people kind of shy away sometimes with the group because they think the spotlight is going to be shined right on them and it's going to be like, Hey, Andy, tell us all your dirt. <laughs> it's not like that. You can participate as much as you want or, uh, or not, you know, some people on the live calls, they'll not even have their camera on. Um, it, sometimes you, you will, uh, if you want to ask a question and we want to open it up to participate, then that's great too. So I love the group setting. It's really, really cool because there's, it's a sense of a tribe and it really brings in a cool dynamic to, uh, to be around like-minded people. So don't worry about that, Andy. Thanks for asking that question. I love that. Okay. Let's see. Amber, what if I'm not available for the call? So yes. Awesome. Again, um, it'll, it'll be right there. So you can just log on and see it whenever you want. It's also a great thing to listen to these calls with your teenagers or your children and help share this information with them. So that's the good thing about the playback is, um, you can listen to it while you're driving around in the car with your spouse or, you know, your, your, your family, because I really am about teaching the whole family, this information. It's so important. Uh, let's see. All right. Hi, Cresta and Jody. If you have multiple, okay. So Jody's asking if you have multiple issues you want to fix in one area, do you recommend that we work on one or both? What, like, sorry, one-on-one -on -one type first, or can we work on both? Do you rec so if you have multiple issues you want to fix in one area, do you recommend that we work on one or one type first or can work on both? Okay, that's a great question, actually. So, Jody, I believe that you can be, have, and do it all, honey. So, uh, although when we're focused on one area, we're putting all of our energy into that one area, it is very, very impactful and powerful, right? When we're as, um, as opposed to us being kind of fragmented and dispersed. So here's what we do. And we will come up with in the group coaching, uh, we will come up with again, many, many different tips and tricks and layers. It, the key is to just step on the path and start moving. But, um, I tell people that there's you, you usually have one key area. You're in a, a chapter of your life, right? We go through these different seasons. And so for me, a massive season, when I got out that pen, my season was figuring out my marriage. And that was my, my, the forefront of my life. So even though I wrote in all of these other awesome things in my story, that was my main focus at that time in my life. Now my focus is different, but I've gone through many different focuses. Then, you know, it's like, okay, I got that one up and going and my marriage is now in a different place and it's, it's flowing. I'm still going to give it love. I'm still going to breathe that, that, uh, energy of keeping that, uh, in that healthy space. But now what, what needs my attention next? And so then maybe it, it's, you know, figuring out your money situation or, your your life purpose or healing from the past so that's a really really great question and yes i always tell people one main theme area that you want like if there's one thing you could have what would that be that's your main theme right now in your life but then on top of that you're going to be hitting on those others as well so you have a a well-rounded balance of awesomeness because you also want health and you want, you know, money and you want success and you want all of these other things as well. But, um, you're really, really going to be giving the most attention to that one area. So, 
Uh, let's see. Since consistency is key, how can I be more disciplined? Angela asked that. Hi, Angela. Okay, so consistency is key. How can I be more disciplined? So, again, first, you just have to step on the path and start moving. So, so many times we get so impatient with ourselves, and we want us to, we want our whole life to change overnight, right? And Many times I, I will meet with people and they are in such a state of despair. And this is the visualization I like to give people when they're in a state of despair of, listen, you've been out, let's say you've been out flailing in the water and you, you are uh, going, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can, if I'm going to make it. Okay. I'm drowning out here. I want you to see that the all of a sudden there's a boat coming, there's a ship coming, and you now go, okay, I know I'm going to be fine. I'm not out of the water yet. My life isn't perfect yet, but I know my life is about to get better, and I am, I'm going to be fine because that ship is coming towards me. So I want you, Angela, to kind of just focus on that for now, stepping on the path. I know you're in, in the group, and I'm so excited to have you there. Um, so I already know you're stepping on the path, my dear, and you, you will get more disciplined and you will, cause I'm, I'm good at cracking the whip too. I'm nurturing, but I'm good at cracking the whip. <laughs> so you will become disciplined and it really is just changing your habits and the things that you actually, many of these things you're already doing, you're already telling the story in your loop and you're already, you already have, a mantras that you say every day, but we are going to really, really shift those into creating a life that honors you instead of doesn't honor you. So hopefully that answered your question, but that's how you're going to become more disciplined is literally just changing your habits and things will start to really, really shift. Uh, Amber, what content will we be covering? Great, great question. So um, we will be covering, oh my gosh, again, all areas of your life, your branches of your life. So we're going to be talking about self-love, uh, healing from the past, numerology. That's a super cool thing that I love to learn about and talk about. Um, our power to create, oh my gosh, relationships, so important. We will be covering so many different uh, things that it's just layer by layer. Okay. This, this will affect, it truly will affect all areas of your life. Health. We'll be talking about health, um, and health, including like emotional, physical, mentally, um, all kinds of areas of our life. So let's see, uh, what other questions do you ever, Kathy asked, do you ever let Danny read your rewritten written story? Oh, I love that question, honey. So, um, so Danny, my husband, Danny, um, she's talking about, uh, when I rewrote that story and, uh, he know he's heard that he has heard that. In fact, I, I've, I've shared that, that actual story at my events. And so he, he has definitely heard that story and knows it very well. And everything on that, that story that I wrote is now here and my truth. It's now my truth. And at the time it was so not my truth. It was so opposite from what my reality was. So, but yeah, he knows it. He knows, he knows that story very well. Uh, Amber, can I still benefit in the group coaching setting? I thought one-on-one -on -one coaching was the only way to experience change. So a lot of people ask that they want to know um, with the one-on-one -on -one or where, where to start. Really? I have, created this setup for you to start wherever, wherever you're at in your life. So of course, one-on-one -on -one is, is awesome. And we can really shine the light on you and go to the nitty gritty. And of course that is very, very powerful, but the, I I've had both. So I have done group coaching before, but definitely not this program. This program that I'm doing is it's an ongoing program where people can jump in, they can jump off whatever they want. Um, and it's just there to support them. But, um, 
but the group coaching, you know, I've had people that have started at the group coaching, uh, level and then they have hopped then they've transitioned into one-on-one or i've had people that have done one-on-one and then transitioned to the group just as a maintenance program to hit reset every couple weeks so that's really uh it it's it's all about wherever you're at and whatever you feel like you need or want and can do so again, the key is to, to just step on the path and get moving in the right direction. Uh, yeah. So that looks like, Oh, I think I do have some more questions here. Let's see. Um, that's it. Nope. That's it. We're good. So, um, Thank you everyone so much for, uh, for being a part of this. One more question. How do I sign up and when was, when, and wh how do I sign up? And then what kind of commitment is it? Okay. So the commitment is, uh, it's month to month. So you can, the link is in the comments. We'll also have the link in the follow-up email for you to sign up make sure you sign up within the next 24 hours. Cause I really want to send you one of my uh, really special gifts, but the commitment is literally month to month. So you can again, jump in, jump out whenever you want, but I can tell you that there's just going to be so much value in this program that you're going to want to jump in. And it's something that you're going to, you're going to really love cause you're going to start to see change. So, Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I, I live for sharing this kind of information. It, it sets my soul on fire. And I really, really look forward to this journey with everyone. And you're my, my kind of people that I, I surround myself with because I love that um, we can be on this journey together and really walk this path. So thank you. Thank you. Mwah.